Greetings, guys. How you guys are doing? Um, let me go ahead and break this down on what I actually see going on with the market. So this is Bitcoin. I'm on the one hour time frame. Um, if we were to go to the the daily time frame, we're going to see where the market actually comes up to this area. And uh, once it comes to this area, we see that um, it came to a high 75,000. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down to the smaller time frame to kind of break down the chart. So what I see happening, guys, truthfully is I do see uh, Bitcoin breaking out of this high area, the 75. I see us getting a nice little retest back on top of that 75,000 mark. And then I do see it definitely jumping um, in the direction of heading to the 80,000 mark. Okay, um, and yes, we will be creating new highs, all right, new lows and things of that nature. Once it comes to that 80,000 mark, guys, I do see where the market is going to um, in this area right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to see where the market going to um, slowly start back, hanging back out, coming back down, probably doing a little bit of, you know, consolidation. Heading down, all right, creating these uh, lows again and giving us the down drop, right, back to this 75,000 mark. Now, this is what, I predict, what I'm predicting each to his own, um, but I do see the market heading in this direction. And uh, so we should definitely have a lot of fun in this area. Um. So, you guys, uh, get your coins together, um, and I hope you're on the side uh, where the winning is, is at. Um, I really do hope you're not um, thinking about selling against this market. Right now, we're in a bullish um, market. Um, selling will, will have you flat, okay? It will flush you out. Now, we are expecting for a little bit of manipulation because the market is definitely going to do some manipulating, all right? So we're going to get some little some little down areas or whatnot, and it's going to play around, you know, a little bit. But uh, right when you least expect, that's when it's going to go ahead and pull out of that little zone area and then take off uh, to the 80,000 mark. So don't get swallowed by the wolves. Understand market structure. Understand liquidity. Also understand the order blocks. Understand what is actually going on, guys. Uh, we will... Uh, if you don't understand what is going on in these markets, it will flush you, all right? And I'm just saying it in the most humblest way. With or without you, money is going to be made. So I hope you're not pulling your hair out. I hope you're jumping up and down because you have made some good funds by understanding the structure of the market and what's going on, all right? But yeah, guys, I'm predicting that the market will go to this 80,000 mark and then start heading back down. This will be a good uh, sale area right in the 80,000 mark, I don't suggest that you do no selling uh, on the way up, all right? But if you decide to do so, remember this, catch it always. If you decide to do so, always catch your sales at that high, okay? So if this is a, if this is an area for you right here, okay? Relax, relax, okay? Catch it at the high, and then you catch your sale because your sale will most likely come back down into this area to head to push back up, all right? So always catch it on your high. If you're going to sell, make sure you sell at the highest of the previous high, okay? So wait for the previous high, which is here, okay? If this is the previous high, Wait for it to create another high, and then that's when you would make your sale. Do not start selling um, at your high um, previous, okay? Don't do that, all right? You have to come to class to learn more about that. Don't do that, though. That won't be a good look for you, all right? We'll see you at the top. The bottom too crowded. You guys be good. Blessings and abundance to you all, and I hope you all eat.